She has been head choreographer for the Sky City cheer team for the last four seasons and has worked with the Warriors, the Breakers and the Mystics as well as choreographed and danced for X Factor New Zealand. Kayla Page is now lead choreographer and director for Dance Showcase All That, which is part of the Tempo Dance Festival. Kayla, it is great to have you here. How are you today? I'm good, thanks for having me. Nice work. Okay, first of all, when did you go from being a dancer to a choreographer? Can you remember what happened? Um, it was a pretty seamless transition, but uh, I think it was around five years ago where it started to become another source of income for me. Right. Yeah. But um, yeah, it just kind of came out of nowhere, really. How old were you when you had your first dance lesson? Three. And three. What, what, yeah. kind of, what kind of dance is it? Well, um, it was like baby's ballet. Yeah. Something like that. We did a dance to Winnie the Pooh. And, oh, <laughs> that would have been a, and you would have been the one that all the mums were watching because the three-year-olds, when they're dancing, they're so cute. Yeah. And then <laughs> when did you, you realise that it was actually going to be a serious part of your life? Um, I, I can't pinpoint that, like it's always been something quite serious for me. I don't remember my first lesson, I just remember dancing and it's always been, we're there's the one, no plan B. Were you <laughs> the one who was always at dance school after, after school, like yeah. always there, always doing all the classes? You yeah. were the one who was always there, making your mum and dad hang around? No, my, my parents were pretty casual about it, they dropped me and they'd be like, we'll see you when we pick you up at 8 o'clock <laughs> and I just enjoyed being there. I had, I had so many friends around so it was just kind of like babysitting club after school, but <laughs> parents also <laughs> just, you know, getting to learn to dance as well was just as exciting. So it kind of worked out for both of us. Oh, no, and it's great that you've turned it into a career, because I can mm. imagine that's quite hard in New Zealand. But yeah. I've got more and more people that are doing that. Yeah. Um, what's been your favourite moment so far? Up until this point now, what has been your most memorable dance moment? I, I think actually doing all that, the showcase we're doing this year, when we did it the first time at Tempo last year, that was a huge achievement for not just myself but the cast. It was a show that's never been done in New Zealand before, especially on a commercial level. Dancers uh, that we work with uh, don't get to perform on stage in theatres so often. It's more like corporate events, sporting events. So to be able to bring those dancers that I've worked with for so long into a theatre and work at that capacity which we all started to work at. Like all of us yeah. were comp kids and did recitals. So to go back to that, I don't know, it wasn't I, I feel like I've done more exciting things, but that was the biggest achievement because of you know being the first to be able to do it. So tell us a little bit about the show, all that. What can we expect? Um, it's a lot different to last year, which was quite a variety show, more of a recital. This year we're kind of focusing on just four different styles and aesthetics, and they're quite long pieces, so they sit at about 15 minutes each, only four different works. So it's structured a little differently, and there's a lot more content, so it's very dance heavy and last year we had a lot of guest acts when this year is just the cast. Okay so if somebody has never been to a dance show before would this be a good one for them to go and suss out? I think so this I like to think of it as a show that anyone could come to like nice. my grandma would love this and then also mm. any little girl who's starting out dancing and wants to see where they can go in this country it's a perfect show for Do them you think anyone can well. learn to dance? <laughs> I think um, Holly's proved that, no. <laughs> I think anyone can learn, it just depends on how good you become. But anyone can, yeah. anyone anyone with, can learn. Really? With no oh. natural rhythm? I feel that, you know, I feel like anyone can dance. Some, some people see walking down the street as dancing. OK, before we go, because we talked about this upcoming event, which is going to be awesome, we'll give you the details in a minute for that. Um, but what's the holy grail of dancing? You know, for you personally, what would it be? Um, well, I think that that is different for everyone, depending on what your background is and where you want to go. But, I mean from my perspective in terms of where I would, would have loved to have trained and kind of learnt what I know now is would have loved to have gone to like Juilliard or somewhere in the States or yeah I think Juilliard's like the holy grail for me something nice. like that or even like going to Complexions Dance Company which is another like dance company in New York that focuses on contemporary movement and they're quite um they're just mm. renowned, you know. They're just the, if you don't know what those companies are in the field that we work in. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Well, well, hopefully next time we mm. get you back on the show, you would have been there and oh. done that, and we can have all of those discussions as well. Kayla, thank you so much. Actually, you welcome. stay. No, actually, you go and get your dancers ready because you're going to get a going to have a little bit of a performance, get a little bit of a taste of what's going on.